Hey guys, how's it going? I'm here to do an unboxing video of the Samsung Gear 360 that I just picked up. Um, this isn't an official unboxing because it's actually already been unboxed. I bought it um, used on Facebook Marketplace. Got a pretty good deal on it. I'm super excited, but I want to go ahead and show you guys what's in the box here. Uh, kind of talk about the difference between this and the, the first gen 360 that I am filming this on, which I've been using to do all my 360 photo shoots. So super excited. Um, first of all, we've got a nice little simple tiny box. Um, the one big difference that we're going to see on this camera is the way that it's designed. Um, they've kind of gone away with the eyeball design. So we open it up and then we've got... Ta-da! That is the second gen 360 Samsung camera. And uh, I'm really excited to get this camera. Look at this little guy. So uh, we got away from the eyeball design. We've got like a, a holdable base. Um, the button uh, on the top has been moved down here. Um, so you kind of know which way is front now, which was something that I had to kind of memorize on this uh, on the first gen camera. Um, here on the side here, uh, we have our USB charging port. So uh, we've got a bag in here and our USB cable. Now this USB cable is this new type of USB where you can plug it in either way. You don't have to pay attention to which way you're plugging it in, which is something that uh, I have become uh, very used to on my uh, on my first gen camera. Uh, one thing I did notice is that my first gen came with this awesome lens cloth. Um, I didn't see a lens cloth in this one. Looks like they left that out, but it does have this great little pouch that you can drop it in and ta-da. Um, also, the bottom of the base of this has got uh, threading for the um, quarter inch 20 TPI for, so you can mount it on a standard tripod. Um, we've got our gear quick start guide in here. Um, some QR codes to scan. And this is kind of interesting. This is a little, I guess this is the little handle for it so you, uh, you don't lose it. And this guy goes on like this. See if I can do this right. And what's interesting about this is that I'm probably not going to keep that on there anyway. But what's interesting about it is that it also sits on the base, so you get kind of like a base stabilizer. Now the first gen camera came with a little tripod. Um, so this is kind of interesting. It gives you a way where you can kind of set it and stabilize it. I'm probably not going to use this at all. That's probably going to get uh, kept in the box because I'm going to mount this on a monopod or a tripod like what I've got. Um, the camera on right now um, so that I can go take 360 photos with it. So uh, yeah, that's what's in the box here. Um, like I said, uh, not the lens cloth from the first gen and I also don't see the software key from the first gen camera. So I know my first gen camera had some really awesome um, editing software that you can put on the computer. I don't know if they stepped away from that or maybe there's a QR code that I can scan here. Um, but fortunately I've got a, got a few different codes for that so I'm set on that software. Um, but, uh, but it is interesting that they left that out. Now the big, big advantage, the thing I'm really, really excited about for this new 360 camera is its live streaming capabilities. Now this camera will do live Facebook and YouTube streaming. So um, you guys can expect that this evening um, I will be doing a really, really awesome live stream um, on YouTube for this camera um, as long as I get that live streaming stuff figured out by then. And uh, I'm really, really, really excited to do that. Uh, I hope you guys will check that live stream out. And um, I'm looking forward to uploading more 360 photos and uh, sharing more 360 experiences. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Like I said, it wasn't an official unboxing because it's already been unboxed, but I wanted to kind of go over the camera, what's different. Another thing I noticed that's different between this one and the first gen camera um, I did want to mention this. Uh, in the first gen camera, everything's really s sealed up um, behind the little um, the little flap there on the side that you have to open up for the charging. And also the battery on that first gen camera, um, I noticed that the battery is re removable on the first gen and it doesn't appear that the battery is removable here on the second gen. Um, another thing I noticed on the second gen is that because this charging port is more open, it may not be as waterproof as the first gen camera was or is. Um, I haven't actually dunked my first gen underwater yet, but that is on my to-do list since I have a couple of those cameras um, to try to maybe trash one to get you guys some really cool water shots. We'll have to see if there's a project that's worthwhile to do that. Um, but that is interesting that this one does not seem as um, water resilient as the first gen. Um, but for the live streaming capabilities, 
I am all for it. Another thing I did notice is that the, the lens size appears to be a little bit bigger, um, but I am a little concerned that the base is going to be seen in the photos. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get more seamless photos or not, or if the base is going to cause issues. So um, that's one thing I have noticed in the videos that people have posted. Um, is that you can kind of see the base. So uh, I'm probably going to use both these cameras, keep both of them, and uh, determine which one I want to actually uh, utilize depending on the shooting situation. So uh, most likely I'm going to keep doing my photography with my first gen camera because I just love how it works and it's ready to go. But uh, definitely going to be doing some 360 live streaming with this guy. So I'm really excited to bring that to you. 360 Production Services, if you're interested in having your event live streamed, please reach out to me. If you need 360 photography for your business, I'd be more than happy to come and help. So uh, do Google listings, help enhance your Facebook posts, and everybody loves 360, right? Well, that's it. That's it for this review. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, once again, 360production.services or goodfellow.us.